Hey guys, and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. On this video, we are gonna be cooking a brisket on the Traeger, and we're gonna be trying out a new hack technique that actually Greg over at Bliska Barbecue gave me the idea, but we're gonna go ahead and give this a try on the pellet grill, so stick around. All right, let's go ahead and build our rub for our brisket here. A lot of people, especially, you know, Texas style brisket, it's just salt and pepper. Usually when I do brisket, salt, pepper with a little chili powder, like ancho chili, ancho chili or chipotle chili powder, just to give it a little kick. This one's gonna be a coffee rub. And I'm gonna start out with some ground coffee, some kosher salt, some paprika, some brown sugar. I got some chipotle chili powder some cumin, some onion, granulated onion, and some black pepper. We'll get that mixed up. And this is uh, one of my favorite rubs that I like, I put this pretty much on anything, anything beef, uh, tri-tip, a nice thick ribeye. This thing is great on anything, anything beef. All right, we'll get this mixed up. And we'll get on to the to the brisket. All right, so here's our brisket. It's a beautiful brisket. It's about 18 pounds when I first got it. I trimmed off a couple pounds, so maybe around a 16, 15 pound brisket. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little uh, oil to this. We'll get that spread around. And then we'll just go ahead and add our coffee rub to this. We'll get this coated up real nice back in the uh, back in front. I got my Traeger heating up to about 275 degrees with some uh, oak pellets in there. All right, we're all rubbed up. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we'll check on the grill, see if it's uh, at the temp we want. And we'll be getting this on. All right, our grill's heated up, 275. Go ahead and get this bad boy on there. All right, what I got here is a pan of uh, some oak pellets. I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side here. And I'm gonna set this up for a, basically a snake method where I'm gonna light one in and hopefully this will add a little bit extra smoke. All right, you can see we're getting some pretty good smoke out of this. We'll see how this works. Not sure if it's going to work, but give it a try. All right, we're going to go ahead and let this sit. Um, going to be looking at color here. Once it gets a nice mahogany color, I'll go ahead and wrap it, probably around the three-hour mark. Then we're going to look for an internal temp for about 195 to 200. Uh, so I'm looking about, I don't know, seven, eight hours. So I will see you then. All right, so our brisket reached internal temp about 200 degrees. Our little uh, trick here didn't really work too well. Uh, it died out. So if you guys have any, uh, any suggestions on what I can do to make a little quick uh, smoke inside my pellet grill here, leave a comment below. Go ahead and get this off, and we're going to let it sit for, I don't know, about an hour. All right, guys, so here's our brisket. It rested for about an hour. It's got a great color to it, a great smell. Let's uh, cut into this and see what we got. I think we got some nice juiciness, not so much of a smoke ring, but it definitely is tender. Let's go ahead and cut a slice of this. Definitely got the tenderness down. Let's go ahead and give us a try. All right, guys, so here's our brisket. Um, great smell, great texture, nice and tender. Um, I wish I had a little bit more smoke ring to that. I could probably go and get one of those smoke tubes um, that I've seen around. If you guys have any suggestions on uh, 
other ideas to make a little smoke tube, I'd like to hear it. Leave a comment below. Let's check the flavor on this bad boy. You definitely get the, the oak. And that coffee rub, it's got a kick. That chipotle uh, chili powder really comes through. A lot of people are intimidated by brisket. Throw one on the grill. You can't mess them up. They're very simple to do. In my opinion, they are low. Take your time. Keep your eye on attempts, and you'll have some great-looking brisket. Remember, guys, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next run. Thanks for watching.